What's going on everybody? Car Guy here with another video and today we're going to be installing a Ekus fuel gauge onto my 1978 Camaro. And before you get started, there's one thing you should know. There's a couple different styles of these fuel gauges. This one is a zero empty 90 ohm fuel gauge. The other one, the one that I'm actually installing in my car, is a 70 ohm empty 10 ohm fuel gauge, which is actually a Ford Mopar style, I believe. But funny enough, it's in my Camaro because I didn't know what fuel cell I had when I bought the car. So this gauge is actually the wrong one for it, but it's exactly the same everywhere else except for its ohm reading. So the one in the car is just a different part number, an 8361. Whereas this one was the one that I originally bought, but is wrong. But let's open it up because they are identical inside and everywhere else other than the arm readings. But let's open it up. I always like these Ekus gauges or I-Ekus, however you say it. I don't think anybody really knows. They're really presentable. They look good and they're pretty decent deal. They're not too expensive. So there's the gauge. You have a few extras here, a few pigtails they give you, which I don't use those. I use actual, actually good ones. Then you got some instructions, which we don't need those where we're going. On the back, you have, this is for the lights. It just pops out if you want to change the color, which I usually use red. Then it just pops back in, if I can get it in, there we go. So this is positive, that's the ground. Of course, you'll probably wanna run this to either your light switch or a toggle switch like my Camaro has. Then you have, this goes to the ignition most likely if that's the way your car is set up, or a toggle switch in my case, which is the ignition switch as well. But positive, ground and then you've got this special uh special prong right here it's got an s on it let's see if you can see that there we go it's got an s on that prong and that goes to your fuel cell and then your fuel cell will ground to the chassis as well so let's go out and see how i've got this thing set up on my camaro it's actually really simple Here's where I set up the fuel gauge. It's on this little two gauge gauge pod that Ekus sells. And as you can see, I haven't put wiring loom around the wiring yet, so you can kind of see what's going on. If you remember, this is the positive to the light, the backing light on all the gauges. I have them all going to this switch right here. That's my interior lighting. And then of course I have it going from here to the fuse box. And all the grounds I have connected in the same spot. And then I've got the positive here, which the positive goes down to my ignition switch. And then, of course, the ignition switch goes into the fuse box. If you didn't have an ignition switch, then you would have to either use a, uh, a uh, fuse extension in the fuse box or wire it directly into your ignition which does nothing <laughs> on this car. And then we've got our ground, which as I said, it goes to the same spot. And then we have this green wire is our special wire going to the S terminal, which it goes through the firewall and under the car back through a wiring passage, which is where all of my rear wiring goes. I'll show y'all how that's set up on the fuel cell. Here we've got the fuel cell the sending unit, and we've got a float that moves up and down, and that, of course, changes the arm reading, which tells the gauge where it needs to be. Ground, got to go into a chassis ground here that ties in with my tail lights too. As you see, I've still got loose wiring in several places because I am fully rewiring the car. It is 95% done. Then we got the green wire right here. That, of course, goes to that S terminal I was showing you. And if you want to make sure that you get the right gauge the first try, take out those five bolts, pull the sending unit out, super easy. That will hopefully have a part number on the sending unit. You'll be able to look it up and see what 
odd range it uses. Or if you buy a brand new one, you should know already. It should tell, you know, in the description. But I should have done that first. I didn't. So now I've got two fuel gauges. So batteries connected. Let's go up there and see if it works. Here are the gauges. There's the ignition switch. Now there's probably not even a full gallon in the tank. I think it's somewhere around three quarters of a gallon. On. There we go. Turned off. Lights. Boom. Ignition. It's fun playing with switch panel. But there you go, guys. Super easy. I hope this video helped you out.